Hey guys, Heidi Easley here from Texas Art and Soul, and I am very excited to paint something really cool for you today. And then also I'm going to be using the Easter, sorry, the Easter stencils, as well as part of this one. It's a little six pack that has the happy Easter, because I'm gonna use the happy part on top of that. So as you come on, go ahead and say hi, and let me know where you're from, and then we are going to get started, because this is a start to finish um, painting that can be used. Obviously, I want you to use it inside your house, but you could do this on a porch laner. But I'm actually using a ginormous, let me go ahead and measure it, and if, if y'all don't mind putting it in the comments so people will see it, and I'm using a 24 by 36 um, by 48. So if somebody could type 24 by 48, and that's the piece of plywood that I'm using. So I'm actually, hey guys, hey Susan, hey Myra, I'm actually using plywood, okay? So this is a pretty, pretty ginormous piece of art we are about to create. Let me get it like that so y'all can see all of it. Okay, so the first part is really fun, okay? Because we're actually gonna get kind of our placement of where we want things to be. So instead of like, you know, actually painting straight there, I'm just gonna start putting paint down, okay? So I have, uh-oh, hold on y'all, my camera is trying to fly away. Good morning, hey Sue. Oh, I'm so glad, thank you. Thanks for being here to watch. I'm gonna be doing a, a painting that I've done on canvas before, but this will be the first time on a piece this size, okay? So I have the, the piece right here and I'm gonna be moving this. Thank you, Carolyn, for doing that. I'm gonna be making the hill here because I'm actually gonna be making a cross. And so I'm gonna be doing a really kind of Hopefully, again, a lot of times when I'm creating these live for y'all, I'm, you know, developing <laughs> as I'm creating. So I'm gonna use some water and then a chip brush, okay? And then we're gonna be using a stencil on top of this. But I wanna show you how you can do something and actually like have a painting. So you have part painting, part stencil, okay? And then also, for those of y'all that are watching, um, that know me from Texas Art and Soul already. First off, thank you. If you haven't followed me on Texas Art and Soul, please do. Um, but I am a huge person in saying, especially those of you, because I teach people how to make money doing paint parties and online paint parties, but if you are wanting your Easter sign, I highly recommend you order it, okay? Because we're going to be using this for this. But what happens a lot of times is... Um, when you're ordering it right when it's in the season, it can be out of stock. So I want you to go ahead and make sure you're ordering it. Just use coupon code Texas Heidi, and I'd be very grateful. Um, they give me a, a little percentage so it doesn't cost you anymore, but it helps keep me in coffee so I can keep painting for y'all. Because <laughs> you gotta have some energy to paint some big paintings like this, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm just getting a kind of a, a hill here where I'm gonna put the cross. And you can, um, of course, be as creative as you want with this. So go ahead and let me know as you come on. Hey, Jennifer, hey, Melanie. Hey, Tina. Oh my gosh, Minnesota, I bet it is cold. You know, it's cold here in Texas and we're, we're not even that cold and we're not liking it. <laughs> I think it's like in the 30s or something. I'm like, oh, it's too cold. Okay, so I got the start of a hill. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I can add more to it here in a minute. So let me make sure y'all can see all of this, okay? So I'm just gonna back this up a little bit. Okay, so now the next step, and guys, for those of y'all that are just jumping on, this is a 24 by 48. So it's a ginormous piece of wood. So we're trying to make it, hey Kathy, and um, we're trying to make it where y'all can, I know I'm not supposed to use my teeth. I apologize, mom. Um, we're trying to make it to where you can see all of this. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking kind of a, a sunset, okay? So, um, oh great, Beth, from Tennessee. Um, so I'm taking a sunset color, so I'm gonna start with the yellow about right here. And again, you can go to your plate, to your thing, but there's so much to cover here 
that sometimes I just like to do this. <laughs> and plus, it's, it's really fun for me <laughs> to do it like this. So then I'm gonna have some red in here, okay? And then from the red, I'm actually gonna use, so I did an orange, a yellow, a red, and this is just a primary magenta. So now I'm gonna take a primary magenta, and I promise this all leads to a stencil for Easter, I promise. So make sure, for those of y'all that are freaking out, I want you to know this isn't that hard. So if you're just normally used to stenciling, um, I want you to know it's not that hard because again, I'm showing you, you're just literally putting on your stuff here. Um, okay, and then also make sure you're commenting. I think they have some stuff happening if you're commenting and then as well as at the end, y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> All right, so I'm just taking my, my brush with some water. I'm just re-dipping back and forth into the water. And then I'm just doing a figure eight, okay? A figure eight. And then I'm just getting this coverage on the wood, okay? Because there's a, there's a lot of wood here to cover. So it's kind of like doing a mini mural. How many of y'all have done murals out there? Have any of y'all done murals? And I love, love to do murals. And um, it's one of the things I do on the side too. I don't really advertise it, but when people ask me, I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I do a lot of mural work, um, you know, here and there, usually, usually about two or three a year, um, commission murals, just because it's, it's one of my favorite things to do, to paint on floors, walls, um, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so I added a little bit more yellow, as you can see there. Now, I'm going to start bringing in this red, okay? So my red, I did not rinse my brush. And then I'm just kind of pulling through. Oh, we have some people that say never, never. Um, oh, thank y'all for sending stars. That's awesome. Um, hey, Linda from Pittsburgh. I'm trying to, like, read your comments and make sure I'm able to paint this with y'all, too. So watch what happens. So now I'm getting into that red with that pink. And then I'm going to dip... And I'm going to start to blend, okay? So for those of y'all that like more of a muted color, you can make this not near as bright. But um, for Easter, for me, as, as sad as, as it was, it's for me, you know, it's the resurrection, right? So it brings so much hope. So I like to, you know, have the, the darkness kind of up here, but then I like to bring in the bright colors of hope. Okay, so now I need to make this more ombre. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm just gonna grab some of my yellow. Let me see if I can have more of this. I'm just gonna put it right there, <laughs> okay? And then all I'm gonna do is just start to kind of blend that. Just figure eight and start to blend. Because we want it to not have such a harsh light. It can, I mean, we've seen sunsets where, you know, God's majesty has literally like made a streak of a color and then something else. Me and my daughter, kind of a, a cute story. When I used to be a full-time teacher, we had to get up real early and drive to, um, to the school. And so we'd always get to see the sunrise. And, um, and I remember we would always kind of make, you know, the joke like, oh, when I get to heaven, I want to do the sunrise. And she'd go, no, but I want to do the sunset. We'd fight over who got to do the sunrise or the sunset thinking, you know, hopeful that like, maybe when we get to heaven, that will be one of our jobs. Like God will let us, let us do the, um, help paint the sky, you know? So it was kind of cool. Cause she was like five or six and we would just watch the sun sunrise and then talk about it. It was kind of neat. Okay. So, oh, sorry. I had to fix that camera. Okay. Hi, here I am. <laughs> okay. So this is a big painting, right? So we have that kind of going up. Now I'm going to take some um, primary blue. I'm just gonna grab it and it's gonna be up here. And then I'm gonna take some just solid black and it's gonna be up here. Oh, it must be nice to be in a tank top. Becky, Becca, this, I cannot go outside like this. Definitely not tank top weather. We are in sweater weather right now. Yeah, if I go out, I'm actually a little, little cold right now, but when I paint big things like this, I tend to slosh paint everywhere, and so I did not want to get my jacket. I bought this um, 
new jacket and I don't want to get it. Get It's like a little zip up hoodie jacket and I don't want to ruin it yet. It will be ruined soon enough. <laughs> I'm just not ready to ruin it yet. Okay, so now I have the blue up here and then I'm starting to mix the black with it. So when you're doing this and you're painting on plywood, it's really important to make sure you dip in the water, okay? Oh, thank you, Rosina. I hope I said your name right. It's a beautiful name. Okay, so now I'm just kind of figure eight, and because it is literally a piece of plywood, and you could do this as a porch leaner, you could do this on a canvas, you would just need to use smaller stencils. So if you're doing this on a canvas, you could do like he has risen, and you could do it with these type of stencils like the letter stencils, that would work too. So there's all kinds of cool ways you could do that. Okay, so I'm just bringing in some blue with the black, and then I'm gonna bring in a little bit of purple. Okay? And what I love about these brushes is you can be so rough on them. Let me see, I think I have this navy blue. Oh, thank you, Renee. Yeah, and I think this is a fun one to do because you can have so much. Ooh, pour too much out. <laughs> I thought it was still in the, the squirt mode. Um, you can have so much freedom with it. Oh, wow, this color is beautiful. Navy blue. Love, love, love that. I'm going to bring that up into here some. Bring it down a little bit. And you can just kind of play around with it to whatever you feel like you want it to look like, okay? I'm gonna bring a little bit of this blue into here. And then I'm gonna actually take more of my brown with a little bit of black. And you can see I am just playing. I am just having fun with this, okay? So when you start to take it too seriously, you need to take a breath and go, wait a minute, I'm going to have fun with this. Let me try to have fun with this. Okay, so now I'm just bringing it in. And I, as y'all see, I pretty much have not really washed my brush except for when I transition from that to the darker. Okay, so now I'm going to add in a little bit more of that brown. And I'm just swooshing, real techy, little technical word here, just swooshing. <laughs> okay, just kind of getting me a, a base where I can put the cross. Okay, all right. So now I kind of basically have my background, okay? So what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to um, kind of get the placement of the cross and the placement of the stencils. So what I want here is I want to make sure, I mean, I could put in the Happy Easter here, but I actually, I might just leave it more solemn because I'm going to have a cross. So I think I'm going to put the Easter over here, and then I'm going to put the cross over here. So let me go ahead and do the cross first. So I'm going to take a one-inch brush right here. Oh, thank you, Cindy. She says, I love to watch you paint and learn new things. Oh, so cool. Yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I try to like mix it up to where you can get a little bit of, you know, for those of you that, you know, you only use stencils, I want you to know that when you start to branch out, there's some really cool things that you can do. Um, but I know it can be scary at first. So I'm just using a little bit of the brown and then I'm just gonna scroll up, okay? Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> she says I could listen to you all day. Tell that to my husband. I don't. I don't think. I don't think he would agree. <laughs> He'd be like, "Come on." Yeah. Um. My poor um on Texas Art and Soul um Brendan who does all my video editing who I love so so much. She's a friend and now she um helps me with all my videos and much much more than that. But I feel so bad for her because I'm like, you have to listen to my voice all the time. <laughs> She's like, some days I just. I just can't. I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so see how when I pull this cross, see how when I pull it, it's starting to pull those other colors. 
which is kind of a good accident. Because I'm doing this wet on wet, it's kind of a, a good accident. So I'm just tilting it and then just bringing it over, just doing a couple of different layers. Because I want it to be pretty significant. I want it to be a pretty, pretty significant symbol here. Okay. And then I'm going to just tilt this a little bit so the top is a little bit not perfect. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of use that same brush and dab. See how easy that was? Just a little bit of a dab. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let this dry for just a second. Let me go ahead and add in some of my white details because I want to let this part dry for just a second so I can put the, um, the Easter stencil on there. Okay, who is liking this? Are y'all liking this this new design? Um, let me know if you are. Um, again, like I said, sometimes when I when I create these with y'all, I just I hope and and pray they turn out good for y'all, and then I just want y'all to to hopefully get something out of it. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to actually I'm gonna take some. Those of y'all that know me know I love my gold paint. I'm going to use a glorious gold, okay? And then I'm going to, oh good, Nikki. How are you, Nikki? I miss you. Uh, I'm going to use this gold paint, and I'm going to just kind of get some variation on here, okay? A little bit of, vari little bit of variation on the cross. This is a glorious gold. Okay. Oh, good, Kathy. Thank you. Yeah, I always love knowing y'all's feedback. It really helps. And then again, if you decide you want to buy the Easter sign, if you're if you're um, if you are in Paint Party headquarters and you know, I always tell y'all make sure you're getting your stuff early. For example, the spring sign last year after like the bunny up there, that thing sold so fast. So. I want you to make sure that you're getting the signs that you want. So, um, so I always recommend ordering a season ahead, at least. Um, I usually sometimes, like in the summer, you know, unless Essential Stencil has new stuff out, which their products are freaking amazing. Um, in the summertime, a lot of times I'll order all my Christmas stuff for during the summer, you know, because my brain's already thinking Christmas in July. And so then I'll go ahead and, and start ordering my porch liners or the things that I want really early because I don't want to be in a position where I can't get it. Because that's the thing about stencils is they, they last forever. You know, it's not like, oh, you can only use it one or two times. These, you can really use them as much as you want. Okay, so a little bit of gold. I'm just going to kind of brush this over and see what happens, okay? And some of y'all that are really artsy, you could like really make this cross amazing. You could put some details in it, some really, really cool stuff. I'm kind of using the paint that it has and letting it mix, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna use a little bit of this gold to just kind of put some lines in here. Just kind of to blend that down. To make sure y'all can see that. Okay. All right. So now we have kind of some light in there. And then what I'm going to do is just take a little bit. Let's see if I can find, because I really think I, what do y'all think? Should I do the letters Easter? Should I do the letters in white or in gold? What do y'all think I should do? Let me know in the comments, because I am iffy. Um, I can add some more white to this design, but let me know. Peggy says, I got my six pack and I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, y'all let me know in the comments. 
Yeah, the gold. I know that's what I'm thinking. I might go gold with the cross. Okay, I'll hold all of this up at the end. Let me see what y'all think. Yes, Cynthia says, essential stencils are the best. I purchased with some others and they're not near the quality. Oh, I know, it's so, so true. The quality is great. And I'm a person who, like, I only talk about a few products and I am very, very, very specific on, like, I only talk about products that I use, that I love, and um, this is definitely one of them. Okay, so Liz says white, Tammy says gold or white pearl. Oh, white pearl would be pretty. Um, we got a lot of gold. Nancy Gold. What about a white with gold wash? Oh, that might work. It's a good idea. White outlined with gold. Yeah, maybe a mixture. Okay, awesome. Okay, let's see what I can come up with. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a gold and then a little bit of a, a chalky white. Okay, so let's see. This is a little bit wet still. So I'm just gonna do a little trick. Instead of going to get my blow dryer, cause it's, I was doing another art project, the uh, St. Patrick's Day project on my other um, little studio space I have in my art office. And um, I have my blow dryer in there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of dab this. Oh, I'm liking this little, little um, texture it's given. That's kind of fun. Isn't it fun when you find little things that you're like, oh, maybe I'll try that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do this. Let me get some little texture on here. So this is just my messy paper towel. Love this. I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> One second, y'all. We found a little texturing trick that I wanted to add. I was really just trying to dry this a little bit, and then it ended up turning into something cool. So let me see what happens if I just add a hint. Oh yeah, I like that too. Okay, loving that. I'm gonna hold this up for y'all so you can see it a little bit closer. A little bit of, of blue in there too. Huh, that was fun. <laughs> I'm caught red-handed. <laughs> I'm like totally, I just really went totally crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna be able to see if I can get white. <laughs> white with that and see how this works. Okay, so let me make sure I can spell. I want to place these down and spell. I'm actually going to, yep, I'll leave it about right there. Okay, so I am, you're going to have to give me a little grace. Do y'all mind? Let me know in the comments if you're okay giving me a little grace. Because I am doing this where it's still a little bit wet, it will have a little bit of pull, but that's okay. All right, okay, so I like it. Now I'm gonna take, um, usually I use my Essential Stencil Dabber. Um, I don't know where I put that. My art studio is a disaster right now. So I'm trying to get it all cleaned back up for the new year. Um, so right now, like all of my dabbers, all of my brushes, I'm just, trying to find them all. So the dabber actually works way better than this for this part, because you're gonna see it's gonna be not as clean. I'm gonna put a little bit of white on top of that. Okay, and because it's still a little bit wet, I wanna get it on there and I wanna be done. Okay, so because it's a little bit, oh, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> because it's a little bit wet still, I wanna dab it and move on. If not, I'm going to pull up too much of that blue, and then it's going to be too mixed, okay? So, we're just kind of getting it on there, and then we're moving along. Because we could literally just keep, I mean, it's hard not to, just to keep dabbing. Let me see, let me do a little peek. Huh, okay. All right, same thing here. It's gonna to start to try to bring up that red. Yeah, you can see it's already. Let me grab more. So on an ideal situation is use um, your blow dryer or, you know, if you're not trying to do it in one video like this, and um, you could let it sit. So like you could go grab a cup of coffee or you could 
you know, go do some errands or you know, change the laundry. I don't know, <laughs> whatever, whatever you need to do. Just let it let it dry like ten minutes. It doesn't need a long time. And then, or hit it with a blow dryer, and then you can go right on top of it. Okay. All right. Who is going to try to paint this? Remember, if you want to learn more about this, just go to Texas Art and Soul. Um, you can find out more tutorials from me. You can learn more about um, how to make money doing this if you want, things like that. Um, I share a lot of stuff over on my Texas Art and Soul page. Okay, so you can see how this is starting to <laughs> turn into a pinkish gold. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. I think I just need to get some more pure gold or rinse my brush, which... I'm the laziest person in the world when it comes to rinse and brushes. I like to just paint everything with no brush. <laughs> um, oh, good. She says, I just, um, Jan says, I just finished some St. Patty's stuff. Yeah, I'm actually going to be doing a really cool St. Patty's um, tutorial next week for y'all. So, on Texas Art and Soul. So, make sure you go check it out. We already did one. And it's kind of like the after party. And um, it's got, I don't know if y'all saw it. It has like a... A uh, heron, and he's got beads on, and a, a Mardi Gras crown, and um, it's got like the big cypress tree, and it looks like the party's over, but there's been some mess. <laughs> all right, so as you're on here, I just want to say thank you. I also want to say make sure you, um, you know, if you do order this Easter stencil or you order the other little products I was showing you, if you don't mind, just use coupon code Texas Heidi. That would be amazing. Um, Man, this has definitely been been a mess one, huh? I've made a mess. Okay, so let me see if I can get a little bit more gold on that. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it off and see what we got. I can clean up any edges. If I was using the essential stencil one, it would be way cleaner. Just saying, because it just would. Um, but because I can't find it right now. And I... How many of y'all wash your stencils? I'm not a stencil washer myself. Um, that probably goes to the brush washing as well. <laughs> it's my personality. I usually just like set them out to dry. And then once they dry, then I just stack them. Okay? So set them out to dry and then stack. And then what I can do now is I can just take like a brush, maybe like this, like a liner brush. And then all I have to do is start to kind of clean it. Um, so, or, you know, kind of clean up the edges. So if I wanted to take white, for example, I could just easily go right here and clean this up. So let me see if it'll let me zoom. Okay, so let's see if y'all can zoom, zoom in here and see this for a second. So, just taking it and then just right there on the edge, I could just clean it up like that. So I could just go through and really clean it up. So anyway, I just want to show y'all. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Um, I just want to show y'all the end result. Let me back it up. Back that thing up. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, so right here, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. So I'll post a picture later on my... Texas Art and Soul page if you want to see the finished product. But I want to show you how big this is. And then I'm going to go into the lettering and I'm going to add some more of the... Oh, sorry, y'all. I have another phone like halfway in it. Hold on. That's my time-lapse phone. Let me stop that one and move it. A little tip. If you are doing paint stuff online, always do a time-lapse too. Then you have a time-lapse while you're painting it. So here it is. It's, um, like I said, 48 inches by 24. It's a ginormous piece of plywood. Um, I don't know if you can see it from there, how tall it is. It's, I'm 5'7", so it's almost as tall as me. And then let me know what you think. And then the, the stencils for this that we use for the Easter stencils are the Easter porch leaner one. And then I also mentioned the Scrabble. If you want to take a look at that, she's, you know, coupon code Texas Heidi. And then these are really cute too. This is a six pack that has all of these really, really cute stencils. So I definitely recommend that. And then I think essential stencil is going to 
put some names on the comments. So let's see. And let me know if you like this, if you enjoyed this one. And if you want to find out more while I'm waiting for the names, um, go follow me on Texas Art and Soul. I'd love to teach you more. Oh, good. Thank you, Karen. I'm glad y'all liked it. All right, let's see if they have... Oh, there's the winners. They already pinned it. So Caroline um, Tugas, Robbie Robinson Robertson, and Rosina pinned something. Let me see. I don't know. My fingers are so painted. I think I'm like destroying my camera. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. And let me know what you think in the comments. And again, go follow me on Texas Art and Soul for some more fun stuff. All right. Thank y'all. Bye, guys.